Between them, they have six Olympic medals for Team GB. But on board a ZAM today, one was out of his comfort zone. And one was very much in his comfort zone. Former Team GB Olympic rower Matthew Pinson joined Abu Dhabi Ocean Racing for what was ZAM's first competitive race since last summer's Volvo Ocean Race conclusion in Galway. For Matthew Pinson, he was aware that sailing offered a much bigger challenge than rowing ever had. Ours is six minutes uh, and yes, it's you know all or nothing on that six minutes, but it is just six minutes, whereas these guys uh, you know, today is three hours, and for these guys, when they go round the round the world, it's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of days of sailing. And so, to, to try and compare the two is, it's you know, we, we know when we row an Olympic final, we're going to get to bed that night, and it'll be our own bed, and win, lose, or draw, it'll be a sort of, you know, no one's going to be in particular danger. There's going to be no weather to worry about. The biggest waves we get are sort of that big. Uh, this is very, very good. With winds reaching 40 knots in the Solent, Abu Dhabi Ocean Racing were finally able to attack after a day of no wind 24 hours earlier. While there may have been wind, however, it was still light and the waters were calm, making it less than ideal for Azam to really push hard. But time on the boat for a new crew was all the more valuable. For Ian Walker, however, he was back to his competitive best and he wasn't going to take things lightly. As the Zam crossed the finish line, Abu Dhabi Ocean Racing may have experienced a short race, but like any true Olympian, the boundaries are always pushed. And there is more to come from Abu Dhabi Ocean Racing. All in all though, the skipper is happy, but that may be the last time we see Matthew Pinson on board a Zam. Well, obviously he's lost a bit of his power from his rowing days. But, uh... Uh, it was a bit of a shame it wasn't windy. I was hoping it was going to be windy and rough. We could have, uh, we could have really shown him what it's like out in the ocean. Make out over the rail doing something else then. Yeah. And it's, uh, you know, it's, it's been a good day for us actually. We still have pretty tidily. It's obviously not very good conditions for the boat. Light air, flat water, not really what we're designed for. So uh, just looking to put in a solid performance. Nice boat handling, good sail changes and the lads have made a great job. And that was a highlight for you, was it? Not the grinding, but oh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all over. You can stop now. No, you just as the race went on, you get used to you know picking up with your partner on the grinding handles and not sort of feeling you're in the wrong place and tripping over your feet. And it's a couple of hours, and it began to get into it. But uh, I know enough to know that I can never do this for weeks on end across the ocean. No Ian, are you going to tell him now that he's on the next Volvo? <laughs> Maybe we'll bring him in for the finish test. <laughs>